Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to Let's Kill Jeff the Killer. For those of you who don't know who Jeff the Killer is, it's one of those infamous creepypastas. In fact, I have a reading of it on this very same channel, so if you want to go check it out, I have the link in the description below. I might even annotate it, you know, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I feel the fancy. But ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have no idea what about the Jeff the Killer story, uh, I guess I can tell you, after experiencing a lot of stories and growing up and everything, I can tell you very much there's a story about a lot of edge. Uh, it has one of the most infamous fight scenes of any creepypasta. Vodka bottles get thrown around and faces get singed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to kill one of creepypasta's infamous characters, Jeff the Killer. Now, this is one of the games that I found on Game Jolt, obviously. I have it right over here. Uh, LKJTKC, let's kill Jeff the Killer. And apparently this is like Mark II or some shit like that. But, uh, I'm going to start this game up. I don't think there needs to be many more of an introduction. I think uh, if you've been following this channel for a long time, you know who this character is. And if you don't know who the character is, well, it's a, it's a creepypasta character. And, uh, you know, we're going to kill this infamous character that chases you around and uh, and, and ma makes, you, makes you moist. But as you can tell, it's a, it's a Unity game just by the lovely splash screen. I'm going to go over here and just set the actual resolution or whatever. I don't know if you can look to the left. <laughs> well, you got Jeff the Killer. And if that's Jeff the Killer, um, we're in for a lovely treat. Now, they've got the ever-lovely controls menu over here, so it's going to teach you how to play. Uh, WSD to look around, mouse left uh, to fire, right to aim, because remember, we are killing Jeff. This, ain't, this, this lad ain't spooking us. We're spooking the spooker. Now, if you go to the credit screen, you can tell who made this. It's by Poison Games. Spice up your gaming. If you, if you ever wanted to spice that shit up and make it fly, this is how you do it. But uh, I'm really putting this off, aren't I? So let's uh, let's get lost in the nightmares. So if you go start, it's got knife mode, it's got gun mode, and it's got day mode. Now, uh, I, I don't really care about the knife mode. I think the knife mode is probably like... I, I assume there's a lot of people who play this. I'm going to go directly to gun mode. Because, uh, oh, would you... <laughs> Would you look at that? We got one out of everything. But you know what I want to... Actually, we're going to leave day mode next. I'm going to do one gun mode. Uh, we moved into the neighborhood just a few days ago. It is peaceful and neighbors are nice, but there is a story about this boy, Jeff. It is a little disturbing. After weeks of unexplained murders, the ominous unknown killer is still on the rise. After little evidence has been found, a young boy states that he survived one of the killer's attacks and bravely tells the story. That is the beginning of the original creepypasta. Let it load up. What is that noise? You know? Oh my god, I am in for a fucking treat with how this loads up, ladies and gentlemen. With how this game starts off, I know I'm in for an infamous fucking treat. Check your son's room upstairs. Alright, let's go check my son's room. Let's go check my son's room. Where is my- wow, this house is really, really nice. That is the ever-lovely bathroom. That is the ever-lovely, uh, room of my son. Go to slip. Ah, go to slip. Uh, what is this right over here? Uh, can I- can I click on that? What the fuck is that? Deep into the woods. Oh yeah, deep into the woods, man. Find the what? Flashlight? Well, what fucking- what? Where's my flashlight? I mean, I'm gonna kill Jeff the Killer, guys, so it's like... This shit's pretty freaking serious at this point. Well, why is a chair just in the corner? That's so weird, ain't it? Isn't, it? isn't that like just just the weirdest place to leave? Is the flashlight in here? Probably not in the bathroom. Wait, let me check. Alright, well that toilet leads fucking nowhere, so I have no idea how these people are taking shits. Okay, wait. I can already tell with the lovely con- <gasps> Oh man, here's the fucking M9, lads! Oh boy, we're gonna waste that motherfucker. I love how I got fingerless gloves on, so maybe- I'm coming up with a backstory. Maybe the maybe the dad's like a little fucking hitman, dude. All right, I got my little flashlight going on here. Oh, okay, the door just fucking flies open. All right, where's this motherfucking Jeff right here? Well, apparently, it, it I'm in this fucking wasteland of an area. All right, well now you just gotta find Jeff. Really, is that a torch back over there? What? All right. So Jeff could be in either one of these houses, and apparently it seems like fucking no one. Okay. Well, there's, uh, well, apparently, I'm blocked behind its invisible fucking wall. I can't really find... Alright, Jeff, where the fuck you at, dude? Let's get this shit over with. <laughs> dude. <laughs> it's almost like playing a shitty version of Counter-Strike. Wait, go back over here. Maybe Jeff's... Dude! 
It almost feels like I'm playing Source or some shit. Is that a... What? Oh, dude, that's a, I love how people just have fucking ammo lying back over there. That's like, that's interesting. Oh, wait, is that go into the woods? Find three keys to unlock the door. Man, what fuck, what fuck am I gonna find? Three keys to- Oh, there's Jeff! Hey, Jeff. <laughs> what? No way, there's not even a way you can pause the game. What the fuck is this? No, Jeff, stay away. Oh, Jeff's just like stopping. <laughs> what the fuck? I just killed Jeff, dude. <laughs> he just disappears. What the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? I just... I, I guess... I, I mean, I guess I did the thing. What are, what are there, like, multiple Jeffs? I mean, if I kill Jeff the killer, there's not multiple ones, right? Can I... Oh, I can just walk into random people's houses. Interesting. Interesting enough. <laughs> what the fuck is that, dude? Man, people just have ammo lying around their fucking home. Like, no tomorrow, dude. Wait, is Jeff out here? Jeff! Is there- is- <laughs> Are you fucking- Are you reproducing, bro? <laughs> what is this shit? He's literally reproducing, dude. <laughs> is he fucking- Was he reproducing asexually and shit? Alright, wait, let's go inside here. It's a very quiet game, by the way. Okay, this house layout is a little- a little, a little weird. Not, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie there. The house layout is fucking weird. It's like, it's like they have a, they, oh wait, they don't have a second floor. All right. Jeff! Jeff, are you here? Where's the three keys? Supposed to be three fucking keys. Maybe it's in that same house. Obvi that makes sense, right? Actually, wait, why am I thinking of sense in a fucking creepypasta game? I will say, Poison Games is a pretty amazing Sims house budget, too. <laughs> Alright. Why they got that fucking classic ass torch there is beyond me. Hello, I need Oh, okay. I love how I have telepathy to open the fucking doors, dude. Alright, nothing here. Nothing here. I mean, I think I I think it's cause like I killed Jeff the killer. There wouldn't be a reason for it to just spawn out Jeff! Listen to my guns, man. Is it Come out here, you're making it boring now. I can't really like, what, what's the point of playing Jeff the Killer? Fuck, I love how my house is the only house that's like a two-story on this place, too. I gotta find my son, dude. My son's probably bored to fucking death with this guy. Again, same, similar layout, exactly. Key? Oh, wait, that's a key. Oh, oh shit, there he is. There the lad is. You almost fucking spocked me, dude. Stay away. Wait, how do you- how do you have another one? I don't- but don't make any sense. You can't just- there can't be more Jeffs. Oh, I just killed the other Jeff, dude. Are you gonna disappear? Oh, yeah, you did disappear. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what the hell is this? There's like- there's- they're just legit- So like, the game's not difficult and shit. You just gotta find keys quick because obviously the game has finite ammo. So like, there's not much you can really do. Like, you need to- you need to look for the three keys quick. Because I think as soon as you find it, as soon as you probably leave the house, Jeff's like, Oh, I'm hunting you down, bitch. Like, there ain't nothing you can really do here. Like, I've looked for keys, I've really looked for a lot of things. I don't think there's much more for me to find. I highly doubt if I go back in there, I'm, if I go to the woods, I'm gonna really uncover shit. Because most of the gameplay you're getting is just here. Oh, it's fighting Jeff the killer in the morning, dude. I mean, uh, you know, wait, what is that, a knee? I get a, I get a knee right here? <gasps> Dude, dude, I get to go counter terrorists on this bitch. Yes, go to my son's room. All right, son, we're gonna walk into your room with a fucking combat knife. Go into the woods, deep in the woods. Man, where the fuck is my kid headed to? Just going deep in the woods without even asking permission? Kid's just asking for fucking. Wait, here we go. I got, I got the knife. I got the knife and the and the, and the goon. There's nothing in my house. I don't appear to have keys in here or anything, but if I walk outside... Jeff! Jeff, are you there? <laughs> it's like, whatever fear that you could induce from, like, the night mode is all but gone in this version. Why is it like, when I move away, it looks like I'm building something in The Sims? To when I get close, it's like, you're not. 
I wonder if like the like the items randomly spawn too, because I know behind that house was like. By the way, the clouds are really beautiful. If the, uh, I remember like behind here, the torch is also missing too. Makes sense. We're in the day. No, the wait. Yeah, the clips are still in the same place. People just have ammo lying around the fucking place all the time. All right, Jeff. We're oh, Jeff's right there. Jeff's not even moving towards me, dude. There he is. All right, Jeff. Come on now. What you gonna do? Oh, bitch. Headshot counter terrorists win, motherfucker. <laughs> he's, I love how he disappears, too. It's just like he's gone. I don't understand why you would prone, too. It's like I'm playing a version of Gary's mod. <laughs> like, like, what is this, dude? Hey, right, wait. Let me grab the ammo. That's just Everyone has the same fucking chair, by the way, too. It's like we all go to the same chair company for our furniture. All right, Jeff. If you spawn behind me, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna bust bust a nurple. Where you at? It's like sometimes he spawns, but he doesn't even run after you because the AI is like like it's not even activated. It's great. It's act like honestly though, I'll be serious with you. As a novelty game that you would play for like five, ten minutes, it's not bad. You know, it certainly certainly isn't a horrible game. I mean, it's no. You know, it's not like the best fucking game ever made, but you know, I wouldn't say it's like the worst. I mean, I'm certain that if you were playing this maybe alone at night and you were really scared, maybe it might affect you. Wait, I can just look through the windows and see, does this place have anything? No, that house just has more ammo. Well, sir, I can't really do anything in that house because it's like, it seems like people just don't give a shit about having keys. Again, it, it's also like, as you play, Jeff just keeps spawning and spawning and spawning. But provided you have enough ammo, and I'm sure I regenerated health too, by the way, because I know I deliberately got stabbed, then the game's not difficult. It's actually a really easy game. It's just a matter of you finding keys and having the patience to put up with it. But, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Am I, am I going to be able to get into the woods? Let me see. Let me try, let me try doing it, at least. Let me, let me try making it happen. You know, as fucked up as it sounds right now, I think it's probably a better idea for me to just, like, leave my kid or some shit behind, because this is turning out to be a much more convoluted affair than I once thought. So I've checked almost every house right here, and I found only one of the three keys that I need. I really haven't found much else besides that. I'm like, I'm kind of fucking- wait a minute, am I able to progress further in here? No, I've- okay, well, I haven't checked every house. I haven't checked these ones right now. Or at least I thought I did, but I haven't checked it for some reason. Now, I've killed a lot of Jeff the Killers and shit. My god, everyone just has ammo around their fucking property. Like, damn, dude. Where am I in right now? Alright, well, that house only had ammo. Interesting. Now, one thing that I've also learned is this game has, like, regenerative health. So it's like, you can't really die. Like, you can kill Jeff. And only, like, one Jeff will spawn and it. They're pretty easy to fucking kill. Like, seriously. Like, you, you will not die to Jeff. Like, look at that. I've seriously checked this house beyond belief. If I go behind the house, I'm not going to find any... Like, there is literally no key lying around here. It's almost like... It's almost like maybe I've done something to, like, fuck up the game, or I'm j I just can't figure it out. Let's check behind this one. Uh, is there any keys? Like, why would there be keys randomly in, like... Like, the key to that one door into the woods behind that guy's house is apparently in, like, everyone else's house for some weird reason or another. Let's check behind my house. I haven't even bothered. Uh, where's my house like? No, there's like nothing behind my house. But I did have ammo behind my television for some odd reason. I don't know. Again, like everyone just has clips of pistol ammunition lying around. I mean, if if you if, if guns are your safety tool, then this neighborhood is the safest neighborhood you'll ever go to. Let me tell you that. But, uh, oh my god. Do you guys see what's happening with the trees, by the way? Look at that. Look at this with the trees. They like grow as I run towards them. Hold on. Wait, there's Jeff. All right, Jeff, you can fuck off for a second. Yeah, look at that. Look at the trees. No way, I think it's just the sprite. Hey, Jeff, I really need keys. Can you help me with keys? By the way, let me show you how, like, if... It, one way, if you run out of ammo, just do this to Jeff, okay? Just go stab, stab. And by the way, this is like the 50th Jeff that I must have killed at this point. Like, I've, I've killed more Jeffs than any other character in video game. Like, look at that, dude. I'm just stabbing this one kid over and like this one dude that's running after me just disappears and the health regenerates so you can't actually die in this game like this is a very easy game to play like there's actually no fear of death like there's nothing to be afraid of at all Jeff is a fucking pussy who dies in like four four swipes t I from the air and like anything else like this game is just easy as fuck this game is an easy game to play you don't have to worry about it at all it's like, most of it now is just trying to find, like, fucking what, three keys? 
which I've only found one apparently. And it's like I'm trying to really find the other two keys. I, I think that maybe Jeff would have dropped them, but even after how many times I spawned Jeff, nothing is happening. And I don't understand why I can't like bust through this or shoot it off the fucking hinges or some shit. It's not like that's that's a that's a very reinforced wooden wall, wooden door, right? There is legit nothing, okay? Like, I feel like at this point, I'm basically being taken for a ride. That's where I found ammo. Nothing to be... No, nothing really here. Like, there is no key. I'm thinking maybe there's a key, but there isn't actually a key. You know what? I think this game is a troll. I think Jeff, Let's Kill Jeff the Killer, Chapter 2, is nothing more than a mere troll. I've spent way more time on this than I've had to. But ladies and gentlemen, that was Let's Kill Jeff the Killer. Now, usually when I do a playthrough, I was like getting to the end of it or like trying to get to the meat. But for a game called Let's Kill Jeff the Killer, you know, really hyping up the creepypasta killer, I'll say one thing. I've killed Jeff the Killer more times than anyone would like to le like to claim half 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 even if you wanted to say uh so i guess i've killed jeff the kill i've killed jeff the killers you know but there we go that was lost in the nightmare ladies and gentlemen that was jeff the killer quest for three keys two of which i could not find but one of which i know where to find exactly so you know what jeff the killer you know what i got for you a big giant fuck you dude but uh, I hope you enjoyed Let's Kill Jeff the Killer. I know it wasn't your standard EXE game fair or something like that, but I wanted to sort of look at other creepypastas. You know, I always look at Sonic.exe, but here we've got Jeff the Killer. So maybe switch things up a bit. There are also some other creepypasta games to play. Hopefully this game was worth it. Uh, but next time I've got some iPhone games about Jeff the Killer that y'all should check out. Oh, yeah. But uh, I think it's time I end the video over here. I've said my piece. I've played the game enough more than I've ever had to. I really couldn't progress further than that if I go to start real quick or the day mode. I made it to two out of the possible uh, five, which, you know, may maybe we go all the way to space or something. Let's kill Jeff the Killer Infinite Warfare or some shit. But uh, I have some lovely games on the iPhone over here. Uh, five Nights of Jeff the Killer, you know, uh, Jeff Madness. Uh, some, some, some Jeff the Killer Runner app or some shit like that. Endless Runner. I also have Pregnant, Frozen, yeah, apparently these are kids' games on the iPhones, but uh, I want to back out of that and uh, maybe save those for another day. Let me know what you thought about Let's Kill Jeff the Killer. Download link I will leave in the description below. Uh, download at your own risk, by the way. This is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it, I am out.